Hello, welcome to this week's episode. And as you can see, it's getting darker. It's about six o'clock now. It's getting darker. It only means one thing. We are now going into winter. So here we are. I am going to prepare for winter now with the heat pump. This is the heat pump that we put on in April 2024. So we're going to talk about where it's been and what we've used for June, July, August. Now September is taken a turn, it's rainy. So we're going to talk about the bills that we've had or how much uh, energy we've used in that time getting ready for winter because I know in winter we're going to be using more electricity. So I'll just separate it now so that this is the final summer uh, bill and we continue now and check what's going to happen in the winter and how much more we're going to be paying because the heat pump will be using more. So it will be interesting to see how much more it will use. So I'll go into the office and we will do the numbers for June, July and August then get ready for the colder ones. Welcome, we are now in the office. So we are now looking at the, the bills on the screen. So I will open the bill for June. So this is the bill for June. We paid, I will transfer all the information onto the spreadsheet in a minute. So just want to show you where we were uh, at that time in June. So here we are. Um, I have added, because in June, that's where there was a reduction in what our Octopus were charging us. So it came down from 26 uh, pence per kilowatt uh, or off um, peak hours and 23, 23p for the following months. So it came down a bit. Uh, the night rate, which is the off peak, uh, also came down slightly. So in the summer, the, the bills were cheaper, but I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to look at the usage and the bill, how much it cost us. So all in all, it was 146 between June and July. The second bill, which is this one, uh, between August and September, this is what it was on the cheaper tariff, obviously. So we used 896 there, the bill was 140. Then in July, I'll bring it up like that. There is the July, between 10th of July and 9th of August. That's when my bill came out. So this is what it was. We used 1,044 kilowatts and the average was 13.18 per kilowatt. And the recent bill between September and October, I also have that, which is here. And again, this is where the tariff changes as well from 23 pence peak to 25 peak and the standing charge also goes up slightly by a penny. The off-peak nitrate remains the same at 7p. So this is how it looks. So we'll transfer that information all onto the spreadsheet and it looks like so. So having a, a heat pump in the summer, it was just using the water, uh, heating up the water. That was the only thing that it was doing. And these are the transfers. I beg your pardon. These were the tra uh, transfer the information now. The June bill there, we used 967 and the average cost was 12p, 12.39p and the bill was 146 pounds, 24 pence. In July, again, this is the middle of, or middle of the summer really. We used more because we traveled a lot more in the summer going away and charging two EVs. So we used a lot more, but because our average again was 13.18p, it came up to 159.32. In August, we used 896.5. This is when we went on holiday as well. So we had a few days away. So we used less and 13p and 140.83 
pounds was our bill so even that these bills you know these three months this is two evs being charged as well throughout you know almost three times we were plugging in almost three times a week so these if you factor in the amount of uh, fuel we would have used if you were uh, using petrol or excuse me using petrol or diesel you'll find out that you know we will be using at least 200 300 pounds a month on both cars 150 each 150 each that is if the cars are economic because i do go to uh, leicester which is about 45 miles from peterborough now and again every monday there's a lot of traveling and a lot of charging for the evs so for paying 146 pounds a month that is good you know so the heat pump itself i am not feeling it in the summer definitely i'm not feeling it um I'm content with that. So now we know how September was. It was very, very wet. This is where, you know, you can even see the, the heating came on because it, it uses the sensor outside. It came on several times on its own, really. I try to keep the temperature in the house at 19 degrees at night and during the day. Uh, in the morning, I do up it up a bit to probably 20 or 21 at some times so it's all set up on the schedule so i don't do anything it all does its thing if the temperature comes down the sensor will just kick in and heat up the the house and it does there was a day when it was really cold it does warm up the house that's for sure and i'm i'm excited and nervous at the same time because i know winter the heat pump will be full on you know every time it will be heating up and i want to make sure you know i figure out which one is the sweet spot really how to use it so it will be interesting for us definitely so in september one of the rainiest septembers that we've had we did use the heat pump a bit more so the temperatures were a bit lower than normal and the rain it really rained i i've never seen so much rain in september so it was miserable absolutely miserable and we used 211 so again that is including charging the cars so i am really really content with that i'm not comparing it to last year when we had the gas boiler but i'm just looking at the numbers and as you can see it's now increased so this time around we want to see what our winter is going to be like into february march next year and see how much more we'll be paying because of the heat pump so Thank you very much. As you've seen also at the beginning of the video, we now also have a Tesla. I'll be doing more Tesla videos on this channel. So thank you very much. I know the heat pump is very popular as well. So do subscribe to the channel. It will do wonders definitely for the channel. Do subscribe to the channel and like the video and communicate. Just ask any questions you want to find out about the heat pump, about electric cars. I will try my best to answer. So this was a short video just to prepare us for, for the winter. Thank you and see you on the next video. Bye.